it is still leaking. We've been using our own shower recently because the toilet box are closed due to the coronavirus and we noticed the carpet was getting a bit wet and I've come in and I've investigated. I've pulled up the shower tray and uh, it's a bit wet down here so <sighs> just another job on an old caravan to do. So I've just pulled out the brown plastic vinyl that was covering the wooden floor and it looks like I think we've gotten away with it folks because the wood under here okay start to go a bit soft on top but it's not soft like rotten soft um, so I think folks we've gotten away with this I've asked the shower tray out I've taken the uh, the shower tray trap out as well where the waste water runs down and uh, I'm just gonna leave this to dry out for a bit now and then I'm gonna do lots of resealing I'm gonna reseal the silicone all the way around the shower and hopefully that will seal the whole thing up I'm gonna take this unit off as well because it looks like someone's had a go at putting silicone around this years ago but as you can see well it's just coming straight off so yeah there we go I wouldn't have found out about this had it not been for corona because we haven't used our shower until now but you know what um yeah, you know what it needs doing so I'll do it so here's something else that's quite interesting I've just unscrewed this is the uh the, the vent at the bottom of the shower we just unscrewed it and I would have thought that would have had more of a lip on it um, or at least some evidence of silicone sealant from when it was first manufactured but there's absolutely nothing on there and as you can see it's all like that goes straight through the wall and then you can see into the interior of the wall material of the caravan so had this shower been used for a long time we would have got the damp coming down through here from the shower water and then down into this gap between here which isn't great really so I'll seal that up as well and I might even hmm I might even just get rid of this I'm not sure yet I'll have a think see if I can find something more appropriate because I don't know how important that vent is really so there we are something else to do just do this bit as well take everything out strip it right back and then we turn a reseal. Ooh, a bit rusty behind there. But we will get them out. Get rid of that and pop it down through a hole and it leaks. And then we'll get this bit out next. No, I'm surprised really. There's not any sealant behind this shelving unit. Well, they definitely did build them back in the old days. Okay, on to this tap unit assembly. We'll get that out of the way and we'll see what that's like behind there. And then we will get everything dried up overnight. And then hopefully, Reseal it tomorrow. Okay, not too wet behind here. No worse than anywhere else. But again, you can see the silicone. Not doing anything. So, reseal all that. The absence of any black mold growth in the back of here is a good sign, meaning that there's not been too much water getting down behind or any water leaking from the tap, so yeah, happy with that really. Good. So I'm going to finish scraping off the old silicone here and the bits and pieces. Oh, some wall covering by the looks of it. <laughs> um, um, and then tomorrow, once it's dried out, I will then reseal the whole thing. Um, I could put the tray back in and then fingers crossed that will stop the leak happening. We didn't actually notice for a couple of days. The reason being is that this bit of the carpet was getting really wet by the shower. But as you see the dog's water bowls here and she often spills it. So we just thought it was the dog's water bowl. But we then 
moved the dog's water bowl to outside and it was still happening and we thought oh, that can't be right so we thought that it must be the shower i had an inkling it would leak a little bit um because i could visually see there were gaps in the ceiling which was a bit lazy of me really not to do it straight away but hey ho never mind we'll um we'll do it this time and it's done for the future yeah but it's friday night and i think i've had about enough Decided to take the shower frame door or door frame and door out because I couldn't get the sealant off that and the inside particularly well. So, unfortunately, just a few screws and it should be coming out. Oh, hang on, have I missed one? <laughs> I missed one, guys. I can't see where I've missed one. Hmm. That's loose. That's not loose. Bit awkward to do it with one hand with the GoPro. I'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> schoolboy error. Here we go. It's these two. Right, get these out and I'll get the frame out. Okay, so just get this last bit of out. And then hopefully, that'll be the whole frame. Oh, easy peasy. Look at that. Dead easy. And there we are, folks. That is one shower stripped and clean so I think that's about it for the moment so that should dry out nicely overnight and like I said there'll be so much silicone sealant on here tomorrow I think there'll be more silicone than shower but you know what that suits me just fine the next day and you can see the shower is starting to dry out nicely apart from that back corner so I've just done a wee bit of investigating as to why that's still so wet and I can see down here next to our water heater bring it down this T-junction here is leaking so <laughs> I'll have to sort that one out there is a push fit connection so I shall just try and give it a good shove in and I shall mop that and that will hopefully stop water running in I don't think that was the problem originally I think it's because I've disturbed the pipe work and that's now why that is leaking so, we'll get there. So a slight update on the three-way water connector. I've disconnected it, reconnected it, and as you can see, possibly down there, I'm not sure whether you can, but it is still leaking. So I thought, no problem, you know what? I've got another. And then I found that. So I'm gonna have to water one, which is a bit of a nuisance, but you know what, I can reconnect everything else and just leave the shower one uh, disconnected. I can put all the shower back in, seal it all up, and I'll order another one uh, to get onto the mail. So there we go. So I, I don't know whether that was leaking beforehand or not, which was causing all the wetness under the shower, but either way, the shower tray still needed to come out. It still needed to be raised because obviously it was soaking underneath here and it all needed resealing anyway. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Managed to get some tea connectors from uh, the, the caravan shop, Bevan Supplies in Clan Geffen, so let's get these fitted up and see if we can get this fixed and then I'll have a happy wife later on. There we are, new one fitted up. Pretty straightforward. No drips or leaks that we feel just yet, which is good. Where's the old one? See, there's nothing in there that was just sort of said it was faulty. But I know when we had one underneath the kitchen tap that was dripping, um, I replaced it for a new one and it fixed the problem. So yeah, maybe they just worked themselves loose after, after a while, but um, for the sake of, no, hang on, where's it? Take a four pound twenty nine. I think that was worth doing, and I bought a spare just in case. <laughs> Stacey's not impressed. Um, <laughs> well, should... <laughs> All the best DIY work is always done near slippers, and you can see I'm muddling slippers now. So there we are. Nice bead of silicone around here. And I'll also put one around the outside as well, just to make doubly sure and nothing's going to get in here. Oops, a bit difficult when you're trying to hold the camera. So I might put the camera down. 
these things are super handy for silicone. They basically replace your finger. Um, and for a lot of years, I just used my finger and I came across one of these, tried it, loved it. Really worth, worth having. Just dip in the water. You got a beautiful, smooth silicone line. I just... Fill any gaps in like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have to be honest, I kind of hate dealing with silicone because it's so messy. And I'm certainly not the neatest. With this gadget, it does make it a lot neater and easier. Someone like me is a bit of a klutz. Just fill in some of these gaps. Just where the plastic's cracked due to old age. And I'll scrape off the excess. And I can just rub that straight on my piece of toilet paper and my hands are clean. So that's the corners now done. Not a bad job. I'm certainly not the neatest when it comes to silicone, but uh, do you know what? It'll do, right? It'll do. I might stick a bit more in that corner, actually, because that's quite a thin bead in there. So I might do that quickly. And then next up, let's get the tray back in. What I'm looking for is I screw these screws in. It's the silicone bead to squeeze, squeezed out, which shows I've got a nice good seal. Let's see if we can get it on this one. Let's pinch this up. Here we go, getting there. A bit awkward to do this with whilst filming, but we'll get there. There we go, the screw nips up. Are oh, we getting the beads squeezing up now? Oh yeah, a bit slack here unfortunately, but you can see it coming through there. Right, well that's most of the siliconing done. I've got the tray back in, I've got the tap area back in. Uh, you can see it's still a bit of a mess in here. Looks like a bit of a teenager's bedroom down there, but never mind. So, next step, I've got to get the door back on and the plinth back on. The plinth actually came off before the after the tray, so I should have put it on back on before the tray. But um, I've got another little plan for that, so uh, we will see sports fans in just a bit. Okay, so the plinthy bit, I was going to do something else different with it because I noticed when I took the shower door out that there was a bit of a gap there, so you know me, I just banged loads of silicone on it to keep it from getting a bit rotten. So, right, time to get the door back in. I think it's almost time for a beer. You can see a bit better what I'm talking about now. So this is the bottom of the shower door just here. And you can see behind it, you see the wooden timber. So you would think that was sort of fold over on top. It doesn't seem to want to do that because of the way it's been screwed in. I think it's probably meant to, but you know what? I'm just gonna cover it in silicone and it'll be grand. I was meant to put that in before I put the tray back in. I had this thought in my head that it wouldn't matter because I could just shove it from underneath the caravan because when I lifted the tray out with the trap attached, there was a great big hole down there and I thought, oh, no bother. I'll just put the tray and get that all put in nicely. 
I'll put the trap in from underneath. Look underneath the caravan, the hole is too small. So I'm going to cut a bit of the floor away underneath the caravan so I can pop the trap back up from underneath. And I thought I was almost done. I'm currently under the caravan with the angle grinder. And what I've done is I've just used it to cut some of the outer wood away and I'm just picking it off and get the fingers in there. And then what I'm going to do then is just chip away at some of the foam and then hopefully I'll be able to put the trap underneath, reconnect it and that'll be a job to good one. I've also covered the seal in silicone, of course, being me, both sides, because it was a bit perish the seal, and uh, I didn't want to track it on a new one, so I figured that would do. Right, let's try and fit this thing up. Da, 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 da. Mm, I think it's still a bit tight, you know, folks. Oh, no, perfect, look at that. So if I just connect the pipe. Oh, magic. That wasn't too bad in the end, I thought I was going to have a more of a challenge on my hands, but let's see. I can get this final connection made. Maybe jobs are good. One. So it's been about a week since I've done the shower. Sorry for the delay in getting the video updated, but unfortunately I had a few things come up in life generally. But good news is the shower has been working absolutely fine. It's all been holding water. Um, you know, no leaks coming outside. The carpet's still disgusting. But you know what, eventually I'd like to put some wood flooring down so we will deal with that when we can. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video, guys, about how I've repaired our caravan shower. If you've got any questions for me, just pop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, bye!